so what's a crash test dummy actually doing inside of a car? It might seem like a silly question because, you know, it's a dummy. But crash test dummies aren't just mannequins. They're packed full of sensors. A company called Humanetics makes these dummies with bones that are made out of metal and flesh that's made out of vinyl and foam and polyurethane. And all these materials are chosen and combined to emulate not just the look of a human body, but the squishiness, the bendiness, the movement, the weight, so that you get a crash test dummy that doesn't just look like a person, but moves like a person would in an accident. Data on real human bodies, including cadavers put through their own crash tests, is used to inform the design of these dummies. So then, in a crash, all the sensors inside the dummy take the data of what a human body would experience in that same crash. So this dummy, and a little friend in the back seat, they're about to be crashed by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety at their facility in Rutgersville, Virginia. And they're going to gather all the data about what this dummy experiences inside this Subaru Crosstrek and use that to come up with safety ratings for how safe this vehicle is. Doing crash tests like this is expensive. There's a ton of setup, precise measurements of the car before and after. And of course, a car gets destroyed each time. Crash test complete. And now all of the data from the dummies inside the vehicle and measurements from the outside of the vehicle, they're gonna get crunched and analyzed and eventually they'll go into the safety ratings that IAHS posts for everyone to see. And as for the dummies, they'll get cleaned up, calibrated, and then crashed again and again.